What's going on guys? Welcome to the Gadget Chameleon. Uh, today we've got a very cool um, setup that I was going to show you guys. It's an Xbox 360 controller attached to a Mac where you can play, believe it or not, GameCube games. You can play any sort of game on um, using this Xbox 360 controller, but I decided to see if it would work with a GameCube emulator on the Mac, and it actually does amazingly. So, first of all, this see this Xbox 360 controller is connected. This is connected to a USB device. This is a Xbox 360 receiver. This is in. This is not a branded one. This is again doing it on the cheap. This is a uh, one off eBay. I think it was seven pounds. Works just the same at half the price. So. Uh, that is connected, if we, the Xbox has gone off, if we turn on the Xbox, it should connect straight away to something. It's not the Xbox, you can see that's off there. Um, low on batteries, but anyway. And then if we go over to the Mac, we'll use the big, one of the big screens. Uh, we can go into System Preferences, and then Xbox 360 controller, I don't know if you'll see this. Okay, so hopefully you can see that, sort of. Now, as we m wiggle things, Things wiggle on the screen. We touch A, we touch B, we touch Y, we touch X. Triggers even, buttons. It all works. Start, middle button, blah, 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 blah. All these work. And it's been picked up using this little bit of software. It's, it's a Mac uh, Xbox 360 driver program. Um, and so this, this bit of software picks that up. You can see it on the screen. And then we relay that to um, a bit of software called Dolphin which is a, I think it's a, just a GameCube emulator for Mac and Windows. Uh, and then we go into GameCube Pad and select uh, select the Xbox 360 controller device up here. And it's as easy as that. So now we've got, if you can see on Dolphin, we move here. You have to assign the certain buttons to um, the different, so my Z, this right bumper is Z on the GameCube controller, that's fine. Um, this is the C stick. This is the that other stick on a GameCube controller. D-pad, everything you have to assign to the certain buttons. And then, uh, I'll try and see if I can't show you it working. This is the external hard drive, so games can run completely off external hard drive as well. If we go into GameCube games, let's run Luigi's Mansion. We'll see if this works. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. And this is solely using the Xbox 360 controller. See that? It's pretty cool. A A is the same as A. And if there's Luigi looking a bit worried, Let's see if we can't skip this. No, we can't. Okay, so. There is the Xbox 360 controller. There is Luigi moving. Um, we can interact with things. We can do whatever using the Xbox 360 controller. Quite cool. And I just thought I'd show you. So, as I was saying, this little dongle here is the bit of kit. It's a wireless receiver. Um, there's, I'll put a link in the description to the software you need and where I learned to do all this sort of stuff. But as I say, you don't just use you. You don't have to just use this for GameCube games. You can play any Steam game that has controller compatibility. Any any sort of emulator that you can assign different keys to. Anything like that will work fine. Just thought it was a pretty cool little trick. Thanks for watching. Feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Wow.